Welcome to the Academic Skills Unit's presentation of workshop material to support students preparing for the Lantite Literacy Test. The Literacy Test has been developed to assess commencing teachers' reading ability and some of the technical skills involved in writing. This presentation is the first of three presentations and it will provide an introduction to the Lantite Literacy Test. The test itself is split into two areas reading and the technical skills of writing. The test will have around 65 questions, two thirds of which will be on reading and one third on the technical skills of writing. This presentation will provide a brief introduction to both sections of the literacy test. In part A, there will be a focus on the reading skills that you will be assessed on in the test, as well as some test taking strategies that are useful when answering multiple choice questions. In unpacking reading skills, we'll focus on the questions from the reading text, Change in Schools, which is from the sample test on the ASA website, so that you can self-identify the relevant reading and test-taking strategies and skills as you go through the practice questions. Part B will focus on the technical skills of writing, so we will break down the skills that will be assessed in the test and you can work through some practiced examples from the test. For additional practice and resources, please go to the Faculty of Education and Arts Lantite support site on LEO and further information about the Lantite itself is available on the Australian Council for Educational Research or ASA website. There are three ability areas that the reading section of the test will assess. Your ability to access and identify information, integrate and interpret, and evaluate and reflect. These abilities are named here and on the next slide, but they are ones that you already have developed and have been using as sophisticated readers throughout your course. In particular, you could be asked to locate information from a range of texts. There could be text only or combinations of written material and images, graphs or tables. You will be asked to identify attitudes and opinions clearly expressed in texts they could be those of the writer or of other sources that the writer uses in their text. Remember these attitudes and opinions may not be ones that you agree with or support. Your ability to make connections between information from different parts of the text and using this information to interpret the text will also be assessed. Using available information in the text to infer the position adopted by the writer of the text and evaluate information, positions and strategies from different parts of texts will also be assessed. This often means interpreting the effect of the writer's language choices and other textual elements such as quotes and their effects on the meaning of a text. Now you are all experienced readers and writers and what the test is assessing and naming are the reading skills you already use. You are active readers and already read texts according to their purpose and function for example, you would read a school newsletter differently than you would read an essay. Therefore, in the test, you will be applying your knowledge about texts and their organisation and using your own well-developed reading skills. When looking at the questions for the reading text, try and identify what strategy you used to answer each question. Did you scan for specific information? Whilst reading, were you able to track how the writer developed the main idea? Were you able to identify the writer's point of view? Did you need to infer the meaning because it wasn't explicitly stated in the text? Think about whether your strategies would change depending on the type of text. As well, you'll need to consider your strategies for answering multiple choice questions, including reading the questions carefully, noting any important words or phrases, for example, identifying certain words such as always or only, that when used mean there is no exception to the answer. As you move through the questions, see if you can identify which questions are more straightforward and which you find are more complex. Try to anticipate or predict the correct answer before checking the available options. Some questions will require analysing all responses and matching your answer as best you can. Try not to read too much into a question as this usually results in a wrong answer. Remember that not all questions will be multiple choice. 
there will be yes, no questions, and some questions may require typing. In part B, there will be a focus on the technical skills of writing. There are four skills that will be assessed in this part of the test. These skills are text organisation, word usage, syntax, grammar, and punctuation and spelling. They will be discussed further in the technical skills of writing presentation. Again, these are skills that you have and have applied in your writing. Remember that there are a lot of additional practice materials and resources available on the Faculty of Education and Arts Lantite support site on LEO. If you would like to provide feedback, you can also find the feedback form on this support site on LEO. Further information about the Lantite is available on the Australian Council for Educational Research or ACER website. A useful document which you may want to read and which is available on the ASA website is the Lantite Assessment Framework.